previously on Hobo Sailor. Leanne shared her concerns about the trip. We said goodbye to friends and family. We sailed from Muskegon to Chicago, where we took the mast off the boat. And in this video, we sail through downtown Chicago. Chicago, welcome to the jungle. <laughs> it's kind of what it felt like. So I remember that lockmaster, he didn't want to let us through. I called him on the radio, he went and talked to us. I called him on the phone, he hung up. Yeah, he's whatever. What was awesome was that we were like the only boat moving in the canal. Is it called the canal? Anyways, that was nice because we were pretty anxious about what traffic we were going to come across and yeah, how every, busy it was going to be. Yeah, everybody's like, oh, it's going to be just crazy. Yeah, some people totally don't take this because they don't want to deal with the traffic of Chicago. Because I don't blame them, dude. Chicago's an intimidating city. It is big. It is busy. But we didn't have that at all. Oh, look, it's the Trump Tower. That ah. shiny, sparkly uh, mirror tower is a giant Trump Tower. And it says Trump huge across it. it was I just good. looked away. I just tried to not look yeah, at it. You know, like a car seriously, accident. Seriously, it's like, <laughs> ugh. We just fell in love with this. We even had a friend who was walking to work and he was late to work to take pictures of us. That was really nice. Hey, hey, Brian, thanks for being late to work, man. You're awesome. Brian's the coolest guy ever. I was so nervous the whole time. Like I was really anxious that somebody was gonna yell at me. It felt like we had wandered in the wrong spot. So I was waiting for someone from the shore to be like, hey, you you kids, get out of there. And I never was able to relax and just chill out and kind of look up and enjoy the scenery. And kind I enjoyed of... all of it for you, sorry. <laughs> I'm glad that we took the route through downtown Chicago. We got to see everything. Me too, it was worth it. It was 10 miles out of our way, but well worth it. Oh, well, there, there I am. Are you chilling up there in the bow? What were you guys talking about? We were talking about like what everybody did in the city, everybody's jobs. Because we were watching everybody walk around, going to work. The kids uh, were like trying to wave to people. From, oh, like, that was the shanty town. Yeah, the shanty town where I was like, "Look to the right, children. Do not see the man taking a dump in the woods." <laughs> so we suddenly a curtain opened, like where we were not supposed to be is how I felt. Like, yeah, you were anxious bridge. in the city. I suddenly got anxious because I was like, I think this is the south side of Chicago. This is the industrial side of Chicago. I was not expecting this. I should have known. I mean, it's a city. Like, it's a huge city. Boys got to watch these cranes working. That was cool. I uh, had no idea how much foreshadowing with the barges. I was just like, wow, look at these, these crazy things. I don't remember seeing these in our other travels. Yeah, these were going to be everywhere for the next few weeks of our lives. This is the Chicago Sanitary and Ship Canal, and it connects the Chicago River system with the Inland River system and permits uh, ships to go south. Um, it also, because of a lock that was built in 1960, it makes sure that the river flows uh, out towards the Mississippi so Chicago's waste doesn't pollute Lake Michigan. It flows south, contributing to the pollution on the Illinois River and the Mississippi River and ultimately ended up in the Gulf of Mexico. I was pretty nervous about all the barge captains in this area, but we talked to them on the radio and they were all really nice and polite and helpful. After thinking about it for a while, I realized it's not like they're mindless machines. They're, they're people and they don't want anybody to get hurt. If you respect them, they respect you back. And this, it was a long day from uh, downtown Chicago, through downtown Chicago, down to Joliet. Um, but with all this weird, you know, barges and cranes and stuff along the shoreline, yeah, it, made it, yeah, it made it really pretty quick. It made it very entertaining. We just ran aground, trying to find a place to anchor for the night here. Uh, we are. Checking the bilge to make sure we don't have any water, but whatever we hit, I think was pretty soft. I think it was a log, but man, we bumped up on it good. I think I'm just gonna tuck up over here outside the channel and we'll see, see what we get. Nine feet here, so plenty of depth. That shallowed up quick. We are anchored on the side of the channel here, which is a little scary. There are gigantic barges that come through and uh, there are reports of barges hitting pleasure craft uh, for example, up in Joliet, there were several boats struck um, on the north side of the bridge. 
so they don't let boats anchor there anymore. But I don't think any of the uh, barges are gonna come outside of the channel, so we should be safe here. You know, there's just something about it. There's just something magical about, you know, dropping the hook and uh, just having a brand new view outside your window. And yeah. it's beautiful, it's calm. This is definitely the most peaceful we've had it since leaving Muskegon. It's nice, I really like it. What's down there, Charlie? Sugar? No, leave the sugar. Uh uh. Let's leave the lid on there. No, you don't need it. I need it. What's this deliciousness that you're making? Is this Indian food? I need it. Could be. At this point. Parsley from Brian and Jamie. All these veg herbs they gave us. So I thought about. Alright, throw some in. Leanne and Lowie doesn't follow recipes. I'm not really a good cook either. I think she's a great cook. That's right. That's Charlie, you're gonna fall in that hole. Grab the boat, grab the boat, right there. Good job, hold on to that. Wait for mama. How are you doing, Charlie? I love you. You just like mommy? Wow. Hold on, hold on. You guys eating spaghetti? I'm trying to nuts so you guys won't float away. Let's see what kind of knot you tied. You tried a stopper knot? Let's see. Oh, very good. Very good knot, Hobie. Guys, I'm seeing a lot of glass here on the beach, so I, I have a feeling that we probably shouldn't hang out here without without shoes. A feather. You found a feather? A real live feather. Oh man. I don't know. Looks like a good drawing feather. Yeah. Just point the end. Be able to sharpen it. Mm -hmm. I think it's a hawk feather? I don't know. Uh, let me see. The part that was the manus feather in his new truck are all black, so it can't be that color. Here, Charlie. Shorter. Throw it in the water? Yeah. Good throw, Charlie. Rock. Throw it in the water. People who go camping and can't take care of their own trash. Oh, Another one, Charlie. I need to stick some most of your hand in. Well, what if you held it from the end of the toothbrush? Hmm. Yes. Rinse it off. Yep. He's like, stop. He's turning. Why is he turning? Because he's so big. He's backing up. He's trying to make the turn. I guess. This is only a little nerve wracking at 2 in the morning. Yeah. He couldn't go fast. Yeah, that's true. It's early in the morning. Saw a barge going by. Pretty crazy. It's early. It's like 6 30 in the morning. The boys are up already. Uh, 20 miles north of Ottawa, Illinois, and uh, so that's about four hours. And yeah, we should be there pretty damn early this morning. <laughs> this is beautiful. 
This is beautiful. He's escaping. All right, so it's our third day. Third day on, uh, well, moving, I guess. We went to Chicago, went from Muskegon to Chicago. And then we went from Chicago to Joliet. And then last night we went from Joliet to here, or yesterday we went to Joliet to here. But today is our fourth day. Today we're heading down to Ottawa. We were just about to leave our little anchorage that we stayed in last night. Barge came around the corner and I called him up on the radio and he said, probably should just stay right where you're at. Uh, for now. Hey, said we should just stay here. Hey, look at you, cutie. Wait there! Oh, I don't see it. Do you see it? No! No? I don't. I'm hungry. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, hot. We blow on it for me? Oh, thank you. Mmm, this is good. Here. What? Half? Think you stick it back on? Oh, good. I've always wanted a whole piece. Where are we? There we are. See, see, there's the bridge right there. Ah, that we're going under? Good job. We're very close. Are we going to go into the center of it? Hi cuties! Are you tired, Charlie? Tired, dirty, wet we just shower off. Okay. Like, should we do that right here? Okay. This is how cute my kid's butt is in cloth diapers. That's okay. <laughs> do you see the yellow submarine? And the jellyfish! <laughs> Hi! How are you? <laughs> Whoa. No, Jamie! I love no. it. Hi, Chad. Oh, hey. I was I just took a starter off the motor. I've never done that before. Oh. Good job. Going pretty well. I don't think I broke anything yet. Want to say hi? Hello out there in TV land. <laughs> the starters on our engines needed to be replaced, so we did that in Ottawa. I also had some help from some fellow cruisers looking at my shifting levers. Then Leanne returned with groceries, and I spent forever packing the fridge. Hey, hey! I'm Chad from HoboSailor.com and I wanted to thank uh, all of our patrons over at Patreon.com, in particular our latest patrons, uh, Kat, Tyler, and Aaron. You guys are awesome. You're the wind in our sails, the diesel in our, in our diesel tanks. If you've been following along and enjoying these videos, you should go to Patreon.com forward slash HoboSailor. I'll just wait. You go. I'll, I'll find something to do. <clears throat> It's cold out today. Rain, rainy. How was your weather? No, I, I can't hear you. No, nothing. I hope it was good though. Thanks for going and checking that out. I really appreciate you doing that. Uh, well, I hope you have a great day and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.